Music paved the road for many genres to come, and there's an entire festival dedicated to its music. Jordan's live um, from Citrus Heights to learn more about this weekend's event. That's right, gobble, gobble. Take a look at what you're seeing. This is the Turkey Trot published back in 1912. But you know what? We skipped Thanksgiving here on Good Day and went straight to Christmas. So we're going to pull this one out. This is published back in 1907. Yeah, that's right. No uh, Beyonce or NSYNC here. We got sheet music that dates back hundreds of years. And this is part of a kooky collection by a young man who is only 23 years old. He's been collecting sheet music for over 10 years now. And this is just part of his collection because he just moved here to Sacramento from Texas. He has uh, thousands of sheet music. Everyone, this is Michael. Good morning. Tell us about your kooky collection here. Obviously, you're going to be a part of the Ragtime Festival this weekend, so that's why you brought in some of these familiar pieces. What got you inspired and what keeps you going collecting these, uh, these pretty much unique pieces here? Well, I heard a piece of music I really liked and couldn't seem to find the sheet music anywhere, but found an original copy of it for sale on eBay, bought it with the intention of learning it and selling it. Well, that obviously didn't happen. <laughs> and it's just fun to look for this stuff, and it's always fun to find something that the other collectors don't have and make them squirm a little. Yeah, because if you look up here, he's got them all organized in files. So these are all sheet music that he's collected over the years. And again, they go back to, uh, to the 1800s. Let's show them, them your oldest piece that you have here that you said dates back to what year? 18... 1883. Wow, that is incredible here. And again, we're talking about the ragtime sort of genre that really inspired musical generations for years to come. Like, of course, you have some that's maybe a little bit uh, newer here. You all know who that is, right? Mr. Elvis Presley mm -hmm. here. Let's talk about your ragtime music because folks will be able to go to the uh, ragtime festival this weekend and see some of those pieces, right? So let, let's see your ragtime pieces here. Maybe this one? Yeah. Sure. Uh, if you ever take piano lessons, I can guarantee you'll learn to play the Maple Leaf Rag at some point. This piece really paved the way for what Ragtime became and what Ragtime is now, and really just kind of got the ball rolling for having all this Ragtime music published. Yeah, this is incredible. Now, the one thing I regret in my life is not learning how to play the piano. Oh, I'm so sad. Michael plays the piano. He's actually going to be playing this weekend, showing off his collection again at the 33rd annual West Coast Ragtime Festival. It is happening this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday mm -hmm. at the Sacramento Marriott uh, at, in Rancho Cordova. So come out and check it out. We'll have all the information on your screen. But again, this kooky collection is pretty awesome. It's older than the both of us, <laughs> and he's got thousands of them that will be on display this weekend, so be sure to check them out. Michael, thank you so much, and happy collecting to you. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, George.